This is Bomb Hoops Podcast. What is up, guys? This is Palm Hoops Podcast hosted by Jem and Jello. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell to keep you updated on our latest releases and help us to reach 1,000 subscribers. We're also available on Spotify and Google Podcasts. Just check the description down below and follow us as well on our social media accounts. It's also in the description. All right, so for our topic today is the recently launched trailer of the much-awaited basketball film na mm. Space Jam, The New Legacy. So, mm. with that, syempre, ang bida dyan, si Lebron James. And since lumabas na yung trailer, mafe-feature basketball players such as um, Diana Taurasi, um, Damian Lillard, Clay Thompson, uh, Anthony Davis, and Neka Agumike. Mm. And mm. I think may mga ibang players pa na involved dyan. So, anong thoughts mo about dun sa ano, sa trailer? Maganda ba or kamusta naman ba yung acting ni LeBron? Uh, okay naman yung trailer so far. Well, it's it's, it's ano. It's the usual uh, cartoonish na It's the usual ano, eh, Looney Tunes talaga eh. Alam alam naman natin as, as we grew up with the Looney Tunes simula ng bata tayo. Batang 90s ka, fam- sobrang familiar mo talaga sa Looney Tunes eh. And nabuhat naman siya do sa sa Midway doon sa trailer starting nung napunta sa Lebron doon sa uh, server burst. Kung tawagin nga ni <laughs> Medyo Don Cheeto. Medyo cringe yung... <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, so okay naman. As for you acting ni Lebron for the most of the trailer, um, you wouldn't say na natural per se, pero he does it fine compared to MJ na medyo parang andating kasi nung kay MJ, medyo mayabang na ano eh na parang straightforward na per- may personality siya siyang piniplay na mm-hmm. kung sino siya on court yun pa rin yung personality niya dun sa movie eh. whereas uh-huh. kay Lebron dito sa trailer so far it's parang ano it's Lebron the family man Lebron outside of the NBA ayun so actually <clears throat> comparing nga dun sa acting ni Jordan dun sa uh, naunang Space Jam ang dami mga nagsasabi na halatang walang kausap si Jordan pag nagsasalita siya nun. I think ngayon, parang siguro may nilagay na may person na nasa harap ni Lebron para pagbabasahin niya yung script is parang ang labas, kausap niya yung person. I think hmm. ganun siguro yung nangyari dito. Hmm. And, and uh, may difference talaga. Siyempre, we, we improve with as the, as the years go by. Nag-improve yung technology natin. And yun yung ano, yun yung step forward. Kasi mahirap nga naman talaga mag-acting na wala ka talagang kuusap. If you ask any actor naman talaga, lalo na nung mga 90s na nag-work with uh, uh, special effects, talagang mahirap nung time na yun. Tapos ngayon, sobrang dali na kasi you can have stand-ins, you can have uh, people wearing uh, green screen suits, yung mga ganun. Sobrang mm-hmm. laking improvement. Uh, ikaw nga lang, isipin mo mag-monologue ka. Mahirap talaga. Mahirap talaga siya. As for the graphics naman, uh, ano man, classic Hollywood uh, level graphics na ano, designs and all. Actually, gusto ko yung touch nung, although cringeworthy naman talaga yung serververse na yun, gusto ko yung idea na, yun nga, merong universe na ginagalawan yung Looney Tunes. Na, nakita na si trailer, nandun si King Kong. So, sa mga, mga di pa nakakanood ng Godzilla vs. Kong, Malagay nyo, sino nanalo dun sa dalawa? Ba't nandun si Ay, King no, Kong? Ay, hindi ko pa nakapanood doon. So, <laughs> ano, tahimik muna tayo dyan. So, anyway, um, actually, yung Space Jam, in general, not just yung movie na to, pati kasama yung nauna, it's a cultural thing na siguro sa basketball. Kasi, pag tinanong tayo, anong basketball movie yung alam natin? Sasabihin natin, Space Jam, di ba? Mm. Parang... Yes, may mga magagandang movies about basketball like Coach Carter, um, He Got Game, featuring sila Denzel Washington and Ray Allen. Mm. Pero ano eh, ibang level yung Space Jam eh. Na, um, pag basketball player ka or mahilig ka sa basketball, napanood mo tong Space Jam, alam mo yung Space Jam. Mm. ba? Diba? Hindi mo naman masyado alam yung mga Coach Carter or yung mga He Got Game na mm. movies. So parang mas ano mas staple na basketball film yung Space Jam and ayun parang okay siya na 
okay na si LeBron yung ginamit nila kasi he is the face of the NBA. Wala namang even the superstars agree na siya talaga yung face ng NBA. Mm. And back then, si Jordan, ganun din yung treatment sa kanya. So, tama lang siguro na si Lebron yung ginawang bida ngayon sa Space Jam. Mm. And gusto naman talaga ni Lebron to. Eh. Vocal naman siya na uh, gusto niya tong career na ganito after ng NBA career niya. Actually, meron na nga siyang production team para sa uh, films. And maganda yun para sa kanya kasi he's, ano, he's a major personality as much as he is an NBA superstar. Meron talaga siyang touch of entertainment sa way of uh, talking niya, uh, way of uh, interacting with media people. Nandun may touch eh. Para siyang, para siyang big personality na katulad ni Shaq. Although mm-hmm. Shaq has had a uh, ton of flops sa box office, pero as the years went by, uh, Shaq actually commendable si Shaq doon sa acting job niya na ginawa sa ano, eh, grown-ups too eh. Mm-hmm. And so, yung, may mga personality Huwag nga lang yung board. Kazam, no? <laughs> oh, huwag nga papanoorin yung Kazam. Masira lang araw niya. <laughs> Ayan. So, actually, marami namang family-friendly basketball films. Yung Like Mike, yung Thunderstruck nga. Thunderstruck nga. Pero, naman, ano eh, it's not, it's not as iconic uh, as the Space, Space Jam. Jam. Na, parang, yes, bida si Kevin Durant dun sa, ano, sa Thunderstruck. Pero ibang usapan ba din pag mga goat yung ano eh, yung oh. mga bi- mga kinakast mo sa mga ganun. Tsaka And syempre I, ayaw mong I, manood ng stick na nagsasalita. <laughs> <laughs> so, ay, um, dapat siguro maging ano, parang staple siya sa basketball in general na for every for every player na kinoconsider natin as quote unquote greatest of all time. is dapat may ano siya may um, may may space jam film na nauna nga si Jordan tapos si Lebron perhaps in the next 10 or 15 10, 20 years siguro baka nandiyan na sila ano sila Zion Williamson or sila Luka Doncic ganun mm. pero ano eh judging from kung naaalala mo pa yung reaction video ni Zion dun sa 2K21 Mm. So, medyo hindi siya ano eh, hindi siya fit for acting talaga. Mm. So, pero ano, parang maganda siyang gawing cultural thing ng NBA na for every goat na ma-consider, gawin natin ng ano, ng basketball film kasi parang mga kumbaga mga kasama na siya sa legacy ng player na yun. Uh, si Jordan nga dahil siya yung goat, binigyan siya ng Space Jam. Tapos after noon, na-consider na goat si LeBron. Bigyan natin ng Space Jam. Tapos Ano, and so on and so forth. Kumbaga, for every generation that passes, dapat meron. Parang magandang ano yun eh. Parang magandang culture starter for the NBA. Hmm. Ako na mga say, ang tingin ko dito, if not for the pressure of the media, the fans, and the whole mainstream community, na bakit wala pa rin Space Jam 2? Bakit kung si Lebron talaga yung GOAT, bakit wala siyang Space Jam na version niya? I think yun yung nag-push para magkaroon ng Space Jam 2. Not necessarily dahil gusto ni Lebron gumawa ng Space Jam 2. Oh, maybe, oo, oh, oh, kasi meron naman talaga rumors since the um, late 2000s na baka si Kobe, baka si, si Lebron, baka silang dalawa, or maybe someone else. Parang laging may ganong rumors. Pero, net, ano nga, neto na lang, nung nagpunta si Lebron sa LA, na, na i-push through. Because, ang tagal nang pressure to ng fans. And, Nakita rin to syempre ng studios ng mga production company na uy, money making machine to for sure. Kasi ang tagal nang hinihingi ng fans eh. And kahit hmm. sabihin natin sa uh, critics mag-flop to, bebenta pa rin to sa sine. Eh. Bebenta pa rin to. Lalo ngayon ha, na we are in the age of uh, streaming services. Of pre- uh, pay-per-view services ng mga movies. Na. na hindi mo na nga kailangan pumunta sa sinihan eh para makanood oh. ng premiere na movie kahit nakaupo ka na lang sa couch or nasa mm. kama mo pwede na yun eh mm. so I think ano mas magiging mas maraming manonood na itong Space Jam 2 kesa mm. nung sa una no disrespect to Michael Jordan gusto gusto ko yung movie na yun mm. and in fact preparing for this recording pinanood ko siya kanina mm. so parang magandang ano Parang, I think this is another way for the NBA to be ano, marketable. I'm not mm. saying na ano ah, na kikita sila from ano 
from the movie itself. Pero there will be more exposure for them na perhaps sa mga non-basketball ano fans. Pero fans mm. ng Looney Tunes, for example, pwede nilang, ano eh, pwede silang ma-expose sa, uy, kanyang pala yung ano, NBA, wow. Mm. And, dagdag exposure yun for the NBA, for sure. Mm. And I think, ano to, isa tong way para ma-reach ngayon, sabi mo ngayon, mga non-basketball countries. Actually, I think this is a great way to connect with Europe. As much as we have the Euro League kasi, uh, the number one sport pa rin talaga in Europe is football. Mm. And bira talaga yung ano, yung fans talaga sa kanila. Uh, yung mga nakikita natin sa Euro League, yun talaga mga from the start basketball na yung gusto nila. Pero sabi mo may mainstream na large following yung mga teams nila. It's not that much compared to sa mga football teams ng Europe. Mm. So, ayun, introducing basketball through movies, through Uh, multimedia arts malaking bagay yun kung yun yung magiging focus ng NBA pwede nilang i-bridge yung gap na yon. and malay natin baka with that uh, 10 years 15 years from now we can see an expansion team coming from Europe so medyo lugi ata sila sa biyahe nun <laughs> if ever we can Pero, never say <laughs> baka may mga teleport na nun ah mga <laughs> teleport stations nun <laughs> may that time so anyway um Tol, alam mo ba, pwede na natin i-monetize yung podcast natin through podmetrics.co. Uy, ang galing naman. Pwede na pala yun. Yup, through podmetrics.co, tayong mga local podcasters dito sa Pilipinas na hindi pa na monetize through Anchor, pwede na natin i-monetize through ad campaigns from Lazada, Shopee, GoDaddy.com, and even Red Doors. Ayan guys, so use our code Palm Hoops Podcast to get $5 free when you get your podcast monetized on podmetrics.co. Again, Use our code Palm Hoops Podcast and enjoy $5 free when you get your podcast monetized. So yung $5, 250 pesos na yan. May pang grab food ka na dyan. Mm. And na-enjoy mo na yung passion mo. Umita ka pa. Two birds with one stone, di ba? Again, just check out podmetrics.co. Ako tol, excited ako dito kasi mukhang maganda talaga yung film eh. Mm. And mm. actually, siguro yung Uncle Drew na movie... Parang gani, ganito yung hinahabol nilang ano, hype. Pero hindi nila mm. nakuha yun eh. Parang ito, mas... Hindi siya niche, niche market. Parang for everyone siya. Hindi lang mm. siya for basketball fans. Hindi lang siya for kids. Ako kasi... Kasi tol, ako panonorin ko yan. Kasi syempre okay, una ako. si Lebron James yan. Mm. Pangalawa, it's a mainstream film. Hindi siya... If I can remember right, yung Uncle Drew... Parang ilang cinemas lang siya here in the Philippines pinalabas eh. Mm. Paglabas na itong Space Jam, I'm pretty sure if ever man may sinehan na by the time na ma-release siya sa July, is I, I can ano, actually say na lahat ng mga theaters papalabas yan. Kasi malaki yung sakop niyang fanbase. Una yung kay Lebron James, pangalawa sa Looney Tunes. Mm. And ayun nga, yung sobrang mainstream niya na hindi mo worry kung di ka pa ng basketball. Na, uh, it's something na may enjoy ng pamilya mo. It's something na may enjoy ng mga kaibigan mo. It's something na may enjoy mo, lalo na kung, ano ka, lumaki ka nung time ni Jordan, na makikita mo yung difference, eh. magkakaroon ng comparison. There's, there will always be a comparison. And kahit anong edad mo, kung nanood ka nung 20 years old ka, nung nilabas yun, kung 40 ka nun, tapos 60 ka na ngayon, you're still a basketball fan, sige, papanoorin mo pa rin niya. Kasi, you're, you're still someone that wants to see a comparison as as, ano, as another perspective kung sino ba talaga yung GOAT. Dumakita na, <laughs> ba, isa na naman tong argument na Lebron is better than Jordan because Lebron is a better actor than Jordan. <laughs> I, I'm pretty much sure na merong mga outlandish takes na ganun. Na oh. lalo na yung mga YouTubers na ano ah, uh, medyo throwing shade pero pero mga YouTubers out there or content creators out there na they're only in it for the clickbait talaga. Si ano, si Henry Rivera. <laughs> Number one slanderer ni LeBron James yun online. Pero ano eh. Ay nga minsan yung mga fans na overblown nila eh, na sinasama nila pati yung mga off-court involvement sa mga players to say na he is greater than that. Kasi, ang dami ko na nakita na ano eh, Lebron is the GOAT kasi sobrang marketable niyang person. Sobrang charitable niyang person na ang dami niyang tinulungan, dami niyang charities. Mm. Para for me, anong connect na sa basketball, di ba? Mm. Yes, he's a, he's a good person, he's a good guy, pero anong connect na sa basketball? Mm. Parang, are you saying na 
dahil mas mabait si LeBron, dapat siya yung GOAT. Mm. <laughs> And for another, uh, the other NBA stars have done their job as well in participating in humanitarian acts, to be honest. Actually, mm. si Jordan, madami siya nagawa for North Carolina. Uh, na hindi na napapublicize. Because why does he need it to be publicized? Even Rodman, na pol- so, sobrang polarizing na character, uh, nakikita nga natin yung mga post na every time na nagbivisit siya ng isang city, pumupunta siya sa mga children sa hospital para mag-donate sa mga bata. And that was never publicized until now. So, what's the argument with that, diba? Pero isipin mo, bata ka sa hospital na may sakit, tapos makikita mo si Dennis Rodman na may mga <laughs> ano, nose ring, puro tato, tapos mukhang ano, tapos may kulay yung buho, parang ano, ano yung isipin? <laughs> ah, actually, isipin ko clown. Kasi nung bata ako, takot sa, takot ako sa clown, so, hala nga. <laughs> Ayan, so, let's go back to the movie. Though. Um, kung ikaw yung IMDB, ilang ano, out of 10, ilan yung ibibigay mong ano, rating dun sa, tra- sa trailer pa lang naman. Wala pa naman kasi movie. Uh, Agibibigyan ko siya ng 7.5. Yun naman yung usual for most mainstream movies, lalo na pag-comedy. Mm. And, I think yun naman yung nararapat kasi it wasn't something na sobrang wow factor. It wasn't something that's bad as well. Parang sakto lang siya. So, I think a 7.5 would be per. Yeah, I think I agree. Siguro mga around 7. Kasi, mm. Though the trailer is good, um, ang dami ng beses na maganda yung trailer tapos medyo pangit uh. yung palabas eh. Pero I think naman it won't be a big deal kung pangit man to hindi. Kasi papanoorin niya at papanoorin ng mga tao kasi kail- ilang beses mo masasabi na uy may movie si Lebron James. Uh. And baka chances are yan lang maging movie niya na hmm. ano na legit na actor siya. So, baka kasi yung mga lumabas yung mga documentaries na parang yung Last Dance, baka feel ko magkaaganan si Lebron. Uh, or gusto so, mo, panoorin mo yung trainer eh. Side character siya doon. <laughs> Ayun. Pero, parang ano eh, I think this should not define a player's legacy. Na kung may movie siya o hindi. Kasi, wala naman, hindi naman naman yung basketball eh. Yes, you can say na yung mga goats lang yung mga may movies. Pero, it's because they are marketable ano, mm. personalities. Kaya sila ginagawa ng movies. Mm. Mm. Shout out kay Spike Lee, ginawa mong actor si Ray Allen. Na, uy, maganda yung, ano, uh, ha, actually, game. Ako papanoorin uh, niya. Uh, uh. And actually, ano nga yun, uh, isa yun sa mga paborito kong pelikula, skip nyo na lang yung mga R-rated parts. Kung kasi may kasama kayong bata. <laughs> Akala ko ba yun yung hilig mo, Tol? Ba't mo isi-skip? Isi! <laughs> Ayan. Ayan. So, before we end this episode, Tol, um, tingin mo, sino ang magiging susunod successor ni Lebron James sa Space Jam, ano, sa Space Jam franchise? I think, ano, they're going for Luca. Assuming Luca has this Hall of Fame career as well na he's on track naman talaga to be that guy. Or maybe Yanis, kung mag-champion si Yanis ng multiple championships, pero looking at Yanis' career right now, he's turning more of like a Dirk Nowitzki, to be honest, than a Michael mm-hmm. Jordan or a LeBron James. Pero ayun, um, probably someone na outside of America this time, someone na probably from Europe or maybe from Africa or someone na Maybe we might see one that's actually from Asia, assuming na magkakaroon tayo ng Asian star players sa NBA. Kaya you never to. know. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi ano eh, I, I think that's one part na kailangan, uh, hindi naman kailangan, pero I think that's something na people would like to address din, yung adding cultural diversity with the yeah. show. Actually, si, nakikita ko si Luka Doncic, tol, mm. para maging ano, the next the next player na magkakaroon na Space Jam film. Kasi shout ano out eh. Sa, ano, shout out sa jeans ng nanay ni Luca. <laughs> <laughs> Ayun, una, artist, artist tayong bata tong si, ano eh, si Luca Doncic. Mm. Tapos ano siya, kwela siyang person eh. Kung nakikita mm. mo yung mga off the court na, ano, na clips ni Luca. Actually, kahit sa basketball court eh. Lagi mm. siya naangit eh. Tawa-tawa siya. Puro kumagawa mm. ng kalokohan. Kasama ni Boban Marjanovic. So, parang ano eh, yung mga ganong quality, sinahanap mo yun as an actor, eh, di ba? Pag sa mga family-friendly shows, mm. I think good fit si Luca kasi 
yung itsura niya, mukha naman family friendly. Mukha siya, well, baka kasi bata. Bata pa siya, pero mukha siyang ano eh, baby face siya. Hindi hmm. siya tulad nila Lebron and Jordan na mukha talagang ano, mukha hmm. talagang mga superstar. Si Luka Doncic, mukhang artistahin eh. Hindi mo expect na ano siya, superstar siya sa NBA kung hindi mo alam kung sino siya. Parang oh. actually, kung ako di ko siya kilala tapos nakita ko siya, I think he's more of a celebrity model, parang ganun, instead of an NBA player. Oh. Ayun guys, so I think that's it for this episode and kung may mga comments kayo, suggestions, just leave them down below. Pwede nyo ring i-chat sa amin kung kilala nyo kami. Um, chat nyo lang kami sa Facebook or sa Twitter namin, DM nyo kami dyan. And we'll, ano, we'll consider your ano, your suggestions. So, also, shout out sa mga nakikinig sa Spotify namin. Um, regular na namin i-update yan. And we're, I'm actually compiling na yung mga previous episode natin. Though it might take time. Pero I'm optimistic na siguro, ano, before mag-launch yung Space Jam. Mm, ma yun. siguro ano ma compile na namin lahat kasi it's Ma-i- kind ma- of makikita niyo yung evolution ng style namin mula do oh. sa pinakaunang una <laughs> pati yung evolution ng ano evolution ng mga gamit namin oh. ma mapapansin niyo talaga kasi ako rin napapakinggan ko yung mga luma nating ano yung material so ayun guys don't forget to like comment share this video and, and subscribe, subscribe. Tapos yeah. kung nasa Spotify naman kayo, follow nyo yung Palm Hoops Podcast. Um, mm. Search nyo lang and lalabas na yung Palm Hoops Podcast dyan. And mm. we will really, really appreciate it para din ma- maging updated kayo sa mga material namin. And kung gusto nyo nga makatipid ng data, is may Spotify na lang kayo kahit wag mm. na sa YouTube para at least may, ano, sound na lang. Hindi na kasama mm. yung video. Especially ngayon na medyo mahirap yung internet. Uh, yan. Don't forget to do those things and Tandaan nyo lang, si Yanis Antetokounmpo, NBA player siya. Hindi Bitcoin ang ginagawa niya. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan. And again, I'm Jem and this is my partner Jello. We're Palm Hoops Podcast. We'll see you in the next episode. Peace.